Hello everybody, it's Nick here. It's been a while. Uh, so just me or am I putting on more weight? I need to I need to work on this crap. Um, I saw a video, someone commented on like an old video of mine. I look at myself, I'm like, holy crap, I was skinny back then. I mean, I still think I'm skinny, but that's like, then I look down, like, I got this like gut and shit. Like, I need to get rid of it. Oh, uh, which, which I'm working on. Um, wow, I got a bunch of stuff. I was going to do an unboxing video. But I was too excited that I just did it while I was at work. So I, I didn't have time to make a video. Well, you can forgive me. But I still got some goodies here. And yes, some of these are video games, actually. So uh, let's let's get the CDs out of the way. So uh, I got some Japanese CDs here. We got Steve Vai's Real Illusions, Reflections. Good album. We have Steve Vai's Fire Garden. Also a good album. Um... And then I got his Alien Love Secrets album. Again, love this one especially. There's only like a few songs on it, but it's so good. And of course, some of these have uh, bonus tracks too. They can't get in the US versions. And then we got Japanese version of Sting's Brand New Day. I'm so glad I actually own a Japanese copy of this because I bought what was supposed to be the Japanese copy on eBay some time ago, and it ended up not being a Japanese copy, so I was pretty pissed about that. Um, I bought a score book for uh, Sean Lennon's Imagine. Um, I didn't know this was based on a movie until after I bought um, the, the CD, but uh, I'm not too familiar with the solo work, but there's like a long list of songs on here. I think Hal Leonard sells this book too, but I like owning the Japanese original, you know. Um, and then, let me talk about a, a movie that I picked up. Bicentennial Man. Now, um, if you look closely, you'll notice this is actually a Japanese version. Andrew NDR114 is as it's known in Japan. I, I like doing this. I like getting the Japanese versions of movies, like American-made movies, and just hearing all the all the... <laughs> all the characters sounded like they're from an anime or something. It, it's pretty cool. Um, so this is a Robin Williams movie. I remember the trailer when I was a kid. Um, like, you look up the trailer, the part where you go, I believe in miracles! You know, I remember that when I was a kid. You know, so I somehow came across the movie. I was like, I want to watch it, but I want to watch it in Japanese. So I did. Um, I know... Roger Reber didn't give it a good review, and I can definitely see why. And I definitely wouldn't say it's Robin Williams' best film. But I enjoyed it. But they didn't play, I believe, in Miracles on there. Or the actual title is You Sexy Thing. But why? Why didn't they play that? They played it in the trailer, and then they teased us by not playing it in the movie. Damn it. Okay, so, um, two games here. I didn't know this. one of these was actually a game I thought was a book based on its name, but... This is Arctic for the PC-98. Um, got this for pretty much preservation purposes. Um, same with this one. Arctic Best Collection Book Series. Um, I thought it was just going to be a game, but there's like a disc inside and everything. So apparently it's also a uh, video game. Uh, you got, your, got a couple books here, but that's that's all. They got like the, yeah, the actual floppy disks. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Um, oh gosh. How do I get these? This thing closed. Okay, there we go. Um, and then the crowning achievement here is I never thought I'd be able to find a copy of this, but I finally did. I have the Beholder 3 for the PC 98. Now, there is a very important reason why I decided to spend 200 bucks on this thing. Okay? So you think. Well, why not just download it for free off the internet? I did. I played through the game. Or at least as far as it would let me before crashing. Yes, I had to, several times, I, you know, I downloaded different ROMs online, and I got through the Mages Guild, and after you beat the final boss, it crashes. I tried reloading the game, trying it again, it crashes. No matter what I did, no matter what in the world I did, it would crash. So obviously the game needs a redump. I don't think it's the emulator. I've been able to play, um, I use Neko Project 21, and uh, I don't think it's the emulator's fault because I've been able to play through other games on there just fine. 
Um, in fact, I am working on one right now for this one. Same engine too, funny enough. Um, it's been a long time since I've played the PC-98 version. I did try to be more entertaining through my playthrough. We'll see how well that goes. Um, but there's a... Uh, the, the, the mouse is a little bit harder to control. Not exponentially, but it just... The sensitivity isn't as much. And that's the only thing I don't really like about the PC-98 version. Other than that, I mean, they... they get rid of the digitized sound effects, thank God. I mean, the, I don't think the PC-98 was capable of digitized sound, I think. I don't know, maybe. But um, they're FM-based now, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, it'll be nice to actually preserve this game. And it, you know, it comes with everything. I mean, it's got the manual, it's got, you know, got your user's manual, Got an ad for a game called Brandia, I think. At least reading the text, that's what I would translate it as. And a couple other goodies in here, so. Yeah, that, that's why I buy the stuff sometimes. I mean, stuff like this needs to be preserved. And yeah, I know, Iron Builder 3 isn't that great of a game, but I still think even crappy games deserve to be preserved. They, preserve, they deserve to be mocked. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing that. If I can find a way to dump it, and then you have to make, like, the disc images, the hard disc images, and I have no idea how that stuff works. So I'll have to find someone who's more familiar with that than I am. But with that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope everyone's doing well. Um... I don't know, I think that's it. Um, I don't really have much going on in my personal life. I am preparing for a little mini vacation next month, but that's, that's the worst of it. All right, um, well, there's one thing, uh, which you'll probably notice if you're on my personal Facebook page, but uh, I will be having a single out by the end of the year. trying to find time to do it though that's the hard part because I'm always at work <laughs> and then today was my day off and I just slept through the whole thing so all right guys well keep keep on keeping on as my late cousin used to say see you guys later oh it's one more thing I need to say rest in peace to Asei Kobayashi I didn't know he died earlier this year and then Koichi Sugiyama recently passed, and Hiroshi Ono, who did a lot of graphics for the early Namco arcade games. Um, in fact, I think he still worked there when he died. Um, rest in peace, guys. Thank you so much for your contributions to the video game industry. Can never show my gratitude fully. Talk to your friends, people, because they're going to die someday. I have friends dying left and right. It's not even from COVID. It's just other stuff. Anyway, take care, guys.